We've all seen this movie myth a dozen times over. The hero gets the drop on the bad guy, tells him to reach for the sky, then the lights go out. Three or four shots ring out in the dark as our man blasts away at the sound of the bad guy escaping. But is that really possible? Here I have six switches, three for lights and three for sounds. The lights are on the top of each target so that you and I know which target the candidate should or should not be firing at. Then each target has a sound. This will be the trigger that lets them know where they should be firing. Each candidate has three attempts, and then we can see if there's anything to this myth. OK, I'm handing you the pistol. Okay. Being handed a loaded gun while blindfolded is, like, deeply disturbing. Ready? Ready. Alan's composed, controlled, and clueless. Each time, Alan turns to face the sound. But all he hits is dirt. Oh, geez, there's no way I hit anything. <laughs> John's hopes are bolstered by basic biology. Well, the reason we don't have ears in the middle of our forehead is because our ability to hear in stereo allows us to pinpoint origins of sounds in our vicinity. So in theory, it should work. OK, I'm handing you the pistol. Safety on. Did I hit anything? You didn't, my friend. Nothing, right? <laughs> Damn. Maybe Texan Brian can bag a bullseye. I'm pretty comfortable with the idea of shooting blind. I've been around guns a lot. I have a lot of practice with them. I once flew an airplane blindfolded because they needed to see how that went down. So this is just one more challenge. We'll assume that whole airplane thing went better. Oh, you missed him. But Brian's got a hunch that their troubles are not horizontal. You definitely felt side to side where it was, but as far as an up-down axis, you really didn't have that. <laughs> I'm glad to see you all have all your fingers still. That's good. Now for the results of this myth. The myth was that a good guy could take aim and hit a bad guy relying on nothing but sound. And that myth is Busted. <laughs> totally busted. Nobody hit anything. And because of that, we have to evaluate you on something other than accuracy, performance. But I'll leave that up to Travis. The top two competitors, based upon form, grip, executing the fundamentals, listening to directions, were Martin and Brian. Good job, guys. <laughs>